Deep beneath California's farmlands, giant metal machines are carving out what will become the world's most expensive underground river. We're talking about a tunnel so massive that you could drive three buses side by side through it. So wide that a three-story building would fit inside. And so long that if you started walking from one end, it would take you three days to reach the other side. California is spending $20 billion to build this thing. That's enough money to construct over 100 NFL stadiums. But here's what makes this story incredible. They're not building it for sports or entertainment. They're building it to move water. And the reason why might shock you. Picture this, Northern California gets flooded while Southern California faces severe drought. Same state, same year, completely opposite problems. This is California's reality almost every single year. Most of California's rain and snow falls in the north, but most of California's people live in the south. We're talking about 27 million people who depend on water that falls hundreds of miles away from where they live. Add to that 300,000 hectares of farmland. That's like trying to water an area the size of Rhode Island. Now imagine you're trying to move that water south through a system that was designed in the 1940s. Back then, California had 10 million people. Today, nearly 40 million. The infrastructure is like trying to supply water to a modern city through pipes built for a small town. But wait, it gets worse. Climate change turned California's water situation from complicated to absolutely chaotic. Droughts are longer and more severe. When it rains, it comes in massive floods that the old system can't handle. Scientists call it weather whiplash. And California's water infrastructure is getting whipped around like a garden hose in a hurricane. The current system forces water to flow through the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, a fragile ecosystem that's basically California's water highway. But here's the problem. The delta is sinking. Sea levels are rising. And the whole system is so fragile that one major earthquake could cut off water to 27 million people overnight. That's when California's engineers came up with what some people call a stroke of genius, and others call the most expensive gamble in infrastructure history. Meet the Delta Conveyance Project. Imagine taking the entire flow of a river and moving it underground for 72 kilometers. That's not a pipe. That's an underground highway for water. This tunnel is absolutely massive. At 11 meters wide, it's like hollowing out a three-story building and turning it sideways. The whole thing will run 30 to 40 meters underground, deep enough that you could stack four houses on top and still not reach the surface. But here's where it gets really wild. California is planning to bore this massive underground channel using multiple tunnel boring machines working simultaneously. Think of them as giant mechanical worms, each one the size of a small building grinding through rock and soil while laying concrete tunnel segments behind them. These machines are engineering marvels. They don't just dig, they build the tunnel as they go. Every few feet, they install massive concrete rings that form the tunnel walls. It's like watching a 3D printer, except instead of making plastic toys, it's carving through the earth and creating permanent infrastructure. The tunnel starts near two small towns called Hood and Cortland. Most people have never heard of these places, but they're about to become the entry points for one of the world's most advanced water systems. The water will flow into massive intake structures. And here's something most people don't know. These intakes are designed with rotating cylindrical screens that protect fish while allowing water through. California learned from past mistakes. The old system accidentally killed millions of fish every year because water intakes basically worked like giant vacuum cleaners. These new intakes are more like sophisticated filters. The screens rotate and clean themselves automatically. And any fish that get too close are gently pushed away rather than sucked in. From there, the water flows into the tunnel and travels underground for 72 kilometers before emerging at Bethany Reservoir. That's where it connects to the California Aqueduct, the massive concrete channel that carries water south to Los Angeles, San Diego, and Central Valley Farms. Building this tunnel is like performing surgery on California while keeping the patient alive. The construction has to avoid disrupting existing water supplies, protect sensitive ecosystems, and somehow not interfere with farming operations that feed millions of people. The timeline is staggering. 14 years of construction, over 5,000 jobs, more than 200,000 truck trips to haul materials and dirt, 
we're talking about moving enough earth to fill 50,000 swimming pools. But here's what makes this project truly incredible. It's designed to survive California's worst nightmares. Earthquakes that could level cities, floods that could wash away entire towns, sea level rise that could permanently change the Delta's landscape. The tunnel is built like a bunker that happens to carry water. The boring machines themselves are feats of engineering that most people never see. Each one costs tens of millions of dollars and takes months to assemble. They're custom built for California's specific soil conditions, which vary dramatically along the 72 kilometer route. Some sections are hard rock that requires diamond-tipped cutting tools. Others are soft soil that could collapse if not handled perfectly. What most people don't realize is that these machines work around the clock. While one crew operates the boring head, another crew installs tunnel segments, and a third crew handles all the dirt and rock coming out of the tunnel. It's like a 24-hour underground factory that never stops moving forward. The logistics are mind-boggling. Every piece of equipment has to be lowered into the tunnel through massive shafts. Every bucket of dirt has to be hauled back to the surface. And everything has to happen without disrupting the communities above ground. California's engineers had to solve problems that don't exist anywhere else. How do you bore a tunnel under a river without flooding it? How do you maintain perfect alignment over 72 kilometers when you can't see where you're going? How do you coordinate multiple boring machines so they don't run into each other? $20 billion. Let that sink in for a moment. That's more than the GDP of some countries. It's enough money to build the entire interstate highway system across three states. And California is betting it all on a single tunnel. But here's where the politics get messy. Southern California, the region that will benefit most from this water, is paying the majority of the cost. Northern California communities worry about environmental impacts. Central Valley farmers fear losing water rights they've held for generations. Critics point to projects like Boston's Big Dig, which was supposed to cost $3 billion and ended up costing $15 billion. They ask a fair question. What happens if California's tunnel goes over budget? What if $20 billion becomes $30 billion or $40 billion? Supporters argue that the cost of not building the tunnel is even higher. One major earthquake in the Delta could cut off water supplies for months or even years. The economic damage would be catastrophic. We're talking about potential losses in the hundreds of billions. There's also the climate factor. California's weather is becoming more extreme every year. The old water system was designed for a stable climate that no longer exists. Without new infrastructure, future droughts could make the current water crisis look like a minor inconvenience. But here's something that doesn't make headlines. This project could actually save money in the long run. The current system requires massive amounts of energy to pump water uphill and around obstacles. The new tunnel uses gravity and shorter distances, which could reduce energy costs by billions of dollars over the project's lifetime. The environmental calculations are equally complex. Yes, construction will disrupt ecosystems temporarily, but the new system is designed to be much gentler on fish populations and Delta wildlife. The old system's massive pumps in the South Delta have been called fish blenders by environmentalists. The new intakes in the North Delta are specifically designed to avoid those problems. Every mega project has risks, and California's tunnel faces some doozies. Soil conditions could be worse than expected, requiring different boring equipment and longer timelines. Environmental lawsuits could delay construction for years. Political changes could affect funding. There's also the technical challenge of boring under active rivers and earthquake zones. One miscalculation could cause tunnel collapse, flooding, or worse. The engineering margins for error are incredibly small when you're working this deep underground. But perhaps the biggest risk is economic. California is essentially betting that water will become more valuable and more scarce in the coming decades. If climate change stabilizes, or if new technologies make water recycling cheaper, the tunnel could become an expensive monument to poor planning. Then there's the question of precedent. If California succeeds, other states and countries will likely attempt similar projects. If it fails spectacularly, it could set back water infrastructure development for decades. Local communities also face risks. Construction will disrupt rural areas for over a decade. Property values could be affected. And if something goes wrong during boring operations, the consequences could be severe for people living above the tunnel route. This tunnel represents something much larger than just moving water from north to south. 
it's California adapting to a climate that's changing faster than anyone predicted. It's 40 million people refusing to accept that water scarcity has to limit their future. But it's also a test of whether democratic societies can still build big, transformative infrastructure. China builds projects like this regularly. Authoritarian governments can move fast when they want to reshape geography. Can California, with its environmental reviews, legal challenges and political debates, actually complete something this ambitious? The answer could determine whether other American states attempt similar climate adaptation projects. Florida might need massive storm surge barriers. Texas might need underground water storage systems. New York might need flood tunnels. California's tunnel is really a preview of the infrastructure choices that climate change will force on every developed region. Build expensive adaptation projects now, or pay even higher costs for emergency responses later. There's also a geopolitical dimension. Water security is becoming a national security issue. Countries that can't provide reliable water to their populations face instability, migration, and economic collapse. California's tunnel is as much about maintaining American prosperity as it is about moving water. Right now, as you're watching this video, those tunnel boring machines are grinding through California soil, moving closer to either vindication or disaster. In 14 years, we'll know whether California built a $20 billion solution to its water crisis or the most expensive mistake in infrastructure history. But here's what keeps water engineers awake at night. California might not have 14 years. Climate change is accelerating. The next major drought could hit before the tunnel is finished. The next big earthquake could destroy the current system before the new one is ready. So the real question isn't whether California can afford to build this tunnel. The real question is whether California can afford not to build it. And the answer to that question will determine the future of not just 40 million Californians, but the entire American West. What do you think? Is this tunnel California's salvation or its biggest gamble? And what happens to the rest of us if they get it wrong? But speaking of massive projects that might be too ambitious for their own good, Saudi Arabia is building something that makes California's tunnel look small. A 170 kilometer city in the desert that's supposed to house 9 million people. The problem? Almost nobody is talking about what's actually happening there right now. Click here to see what they don't want you to know about the line in 2025.